In the IELTS listening tests, the speakers will rarely use the exact same words or expressions that can be shown in the questions or in the options. That's why it is important to understand paraphrasing and this is what we'll do just now. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dory. I'm a teacher of English and today I want us to discuss paraphrasing and listening. In other words, I don't want you to get confused when speakers use exactly the same words or expressions as in some of the options or uh, in some questions. Usually when this happens, it's a trap. So the tip is to understand the whole meaning of what they say and not the words they use in order to express that. And this is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna have a look at a listening script and we'll discuss this together. Let's go. Okay, let's read listening transcript now, which is about a new application. Uh, let's go. Sending the kids to college means letting go, but it doesn't mean disconnecting, especially when it comes to safety. Kids during college years may think they are invincible, but approximately 4 million young adults arrive in emergency rooms each year because of car accidents, sexual assaults, medical illness, accidental injuries, alcohol poisonings, and drug overdoses, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Especially in today's era of heightened security concerns, parents are eager for ways to ensure their college students' safety and the U-Emergency app can help. Okay, that was an extract from a listening transcript. Let's have a look at a sample question. The app is created after the urgent need to offer college students security and obviously the options will be to finish the sentence. But what the question really um, focuses on is that why is the app created and eventually what does it do, okay? Let's have a look before uh, we start uh, answering. Let's have a look at the keywords in the question. So, college students, we've got college students, to offer college students. So, college students is replaced in the actual transcript by other words, by synonyms, uh, which, is, which means that they don't use the exact same words that you're going to find in the questions. They use the young adults or kids in college instead. Let's go and have a look at it. Here it is. Kids to college. Uh, kids during college, 4 million young adults, stuff like that. Towards the end, of course, we see college students, but again, uh, in a different place in the text, all right? Again, here we've got offer security. This is what it is in the questions. While in the actual transcript we read, we heard, actually, ensure safety. Uh, here it is towards the end. Parents are eager for ways to ensure their college students' safety, which actually is uh, offers security in a way. The app offers security, all right, and ensures parents that they're going to be secure in a way. Urgent need. The app is created after the urgent need. We didn't see urgent need in the text. Uh, apart from the name of the app, which is U Emergency, it's a pun. Okay, so the urgent need could be a synonym or is similar to today's era of heightened security concerns, which can be found here. Especially in today's era of heightened security concerns, all of it is um, describes an urgent need for parents to do something. Okay, so basically, what I want to show you here is that the keywords in the questions are not going to be exactly the same words that you're going to hear in the transcript. They're going to be either synonyms or similar meanings, or they're going to have similar meanings to uh, to that. The same goes for the answers, or at least some of the, of the answers in the options. Let's have a look at the options now. 
Let's read the question once more. The app is created after the urgent need to offer college students security and A. Enhance parents' peace of mind. B. Allow them to become invincible. C. Prevent young adults from getting into an emergency room. Now, we have the words emergency room in our transcript here. But here it is. Approximately 4 million young adults arrive in emergency rooms each year because of car accidents, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't mean, of course, that the emergency app claims that they're not going to go into an emergency room if they have the app installed. Uh, so it's not actually why it is created. Although we can see the same word. The same goes for option B, allow them, that means, that is, uh, the college students, to become invincible. We do have this word here. Kids during college may think they are invincible, but approximately many of them uh, get into emergency rooms. Uh, does the app claim that uh, it's going to make them invincible? Of course not. So the app... This is what the question really, really uh, focuses on. Enhances parents' peace of mind, in a sense, because it, ensure, stu it ensures students' safety. Uh, the parents know where their children are uh, with this app and so on and so forth. Of course, this is explained if the transcript moves on. But um, I just want to show you here that Paraphrasing, if you understand paraphrasing, is key in IELTS, especially in uh, reading and listening. So when you see the same words, invincible, emergency rooms, and stuff like that, doesn't necessarily mean that these are the correct answers. If you see paraphrased synonyms and stuff like that, and the same meaning, this is where the correct answer is the majority of times. So the correct answer here is A. The app is created after the urgent need to offer college student security and enhance parents' peace of mind. So if you answer day, congrats, this is the correct answer. Okay, that's it uh, for today. I really do hope it helped you. If you liked the video or you found it helpful, please do like and subscribe. You can find all the social media links and links to my website in the description box below. Also, you can find the link to my number one recommendation for an IELTS online self-study course that many of my followers have had great success with. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your exam.